Now, this may look like a gun, but it doesn't shoot bullets. It deploys darts with GPS tags. It's the latest tool being used by at least one suburban police department, entirely eliminating the need to chase criminals. In a story you'll see only on two, CBS 2's Tara Molina found the darts in action in Oak Brook. Here's a look at what we're talking about. This is a GPS dart. It can be deployed through a police cruiser like this right here or a handheld launcher like this one. It's technology being used by Oak Brook police that can help them avoid a dangerous, deadly high speed chase entirely. Here's a look at exactly how all of this works. A split second decision made easy because the GPS equipped tag now stuck on that van basically allows us to eliminate the need for a high speed pursuit. Worries about police jurisdiction issues and any concerns about danger on the roads. It's got two tubes inside of it with our GPS tags. I got 117 back with me. Oh. With high speed police chases, not only a safety concern, sometimes in some places they're not even an option. Police and sheriff's departments across the country and right here in Illinois are all following different rules when it comes to chasing a wanted criminal and when to stop chasing entirely. We'll have the ability to track that vehicle with our map, coordinate resources with other agencies and surrounding officers, and make apprehension on that vehicle without having to endanger the lives of those around. The Oak Brook Police Department started using the technology a few years ago and hasn't looked back. The reality is that everyone runs from the police nowadays. Chief Brian Strokis telling me it's made all the difference. This technology has helped us um, to get to that location safely and make that apprehension and recover stolen vehicles when uh, otherwise we may have terminated a pursuit because it was just getting too dangerous. Not just here. We're told the tech has been a huge help in their partnerships with departments in Hinsdale, Villa Park, and Chicago. Other departments are, are calling us over the radio when they have uh, situations that, that they think this technology could be useful. It's made by a company called Star Chase, currently working with police and sheriff's departments in 32 states and internationally, made possible here through the police budget approved by the village board as an added tool to their toolkit. He says it's not cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than, uh, you know, a possible lawsuit. Here's another look at how they work. You saw the handheld launcher. Here's what it looks like from the police cruiser. An officer launches a dart, and once it's stuck on a car... Once we're able to uh, get that tag affixed to the vehicle, uh, it goes to our dispatch center that's able to monitor where that uh, vehicle is going, and then we can safely get to that location and try and make an apprehension at that time. They're using this technology on a weekly basis here in Oak Brook. You can find more on the tech, where else it's being used, and the difference that it's making. In this story, it's up on our website right now. Reporting in Oak Brook, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.